everyone, what's up? It's Dan from Guitar Talk here, back with another Fractal Fun video. And today I'm gonna to look at making a basic preset. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. So the general premise of this should work on FM3s, FM9s, Axe FX 3s even some of the stuff you won't be able to do, but it should be quite similar on older units like the AX8 and the Axe FX 2. So with that being said, today I'm using a PRS Custom 22 with bare knuckle, Holy Diver and VH2 pickups. And let's jump into the screen now. So over here in the screen, you can see I've got FM9 Edit loaded up. This is a bit of software that you can download from the Fractal website and put it on your laptop, computer, MacBook, all that kind of stuff. Not on iPads or phones yet. It would be really cool if they did that. There's some third party software you can buy that does that, but nothing official from Fractal yet. But laptop into the FM9. The software can control the FM9 that I'm using for this. And you can do it all on the unit itself, but it's just a bit easier to show you guys on the actual software what I'm doing. So with that being said, let's try and make a preset. So you can see here we've got a blank preset set up. If you go into presets, there are loads and loads of presets that come bundled, already preloaded into the unit. But if you wanna make your own, then start from scratch. You can see here we're plugged in. If we make a sound, guitar is turned up no sound, that's because we need to add an input and an output. You can do this two ways. One is you can right click, which if you're using like Axe FX 2s and AX 8s and stuff, this is the way to do it. If you've got a newer unit like the FM9 or FM3, then you can go into quick build and drag and drop. But to make this nice and easy for everyone, I will right click and just pick an input. I am plugged into input one and pick an output. Let's get rid of that. And if I play now, still no sound, and that's because we need to connect it with a virtual cable. And then I will turn my guitar down a little bit because this will sound like that generic, straight into a mixing desk, no kind of processing. Nice and flat sounding. So what we need to do then is add an amp. And add a cab. And you should get a more pleasing sound. So it's put us with a tweed style amp and then cab wise by default it gives you this one by four cab mic'd up with a 57. So we'll start off, we're in a preset, that's just your standard box standard preset style thing that's been around for years. You could call it a song name, you could call it a type of guitar, so if you want different presets for like a Strat, Les Paul, PRS, Telecaster, you could call it whichever guitar you want. You, If you're in separate bands, you, you're in several bands and you wanna make a different preset for each band that you're in, you could call it your band name. Um, we'll call this GT Guitar Talk for this one. And then underneath that, you've got scenes. Scenes, you've got eight of them per preset. Essentially, a scene is like taking a snapshot or freeze framing certain settings that you've got in your preset and saving them to like a sub menu that you could put on the foot switches on your unit so you can recall them at any point. Now, for the purpose of this and making a preset, we will start with a clean sound. So scene one will be clean. And you've got your amp and your cab here. Let's start with the amp. You can see we've got loads of amps to choose from. I think there's 303 at the time of recording this to pick from, so loads and loads of amps. If we're making a clean sound, let's go for a classic amp. Double verb vibrato, that's like a Fender twin reverb, which you can see here, you've got your basic controls and... We've got a sound there, obviously, this is going through a one by four cab at the moment. 
Um, there are two ways really that I look at selecting cabs. One is if you want the most realistic tone out of the fractal, then if we're using a twin reverb combo, then you would look for the cab that matches that amp. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it can be quite daunting because there are loads and loads of cabs to choose from. If we go into the cab picker, you can see here there are loads and loads and loads of cabs to choose from. So it can be quite daunting. Um, but obviously, if you want the most realistic sound, as I say, then for something like this, there are ways that you can search. You would pick something like a two by 12, and then they're in alphabetical order. So you would look for the double verb cab. They are here. And again, you've got different mic types and all that kind of stuff. Uh, let's just pick one at random. Let's go for a one, two, one. And when that's there, you can strum. We've got a nice tone there. So it's as easy as that to get a nice tone. And then from there, it's just like you're dialing an amp. So if we want to get rid of some of that boominess, take out some of the bass, maybe take out a little bit of the mid, add a little bit of treble in there, and... We are there. You can see there are loads and loads of menus here. This is where you can go really in depth if you want, which get, takes us way beyond making a simple preset. But if you want more options, click on the ideal. It opens up pretty much every control you would ever get on the front panel of an amp. So if you want to control the high treble and not just the treble, if you want presence and depth controls, the Twin Reverb doesn't have a master volume, so the master volume defaults to 10. But if you want to simulate a master volume and clean up the power amp section, you can, and the Fractal does it so well. But for the purpose of this, obviously, we won't touch any of that. On top of that, you can select different power amp tubes. You can mess with the output EQ. There's loads you can do, but we'll stick to just the straightforward tone tab just to keep it nice and realistic. Now, let's give it a little bit of space and throw in a reverb. And again, here you can see we've got lots and lots of reverbs to choose from. Um, plates, halls, rooms, springs, but uh, deluxe spring verb. So we might as well go for that with this amp that we are using and We've got a nice reverb tone. And again, as with everything fractal, if you want to, you can really dial it in. You can pick the number of springs you want, six springs. <laughs> two springs, you really can dial it in. But we'll leave it there for now. We'll hit save and we've got a basic sounding clean sound already there. Easy as that. Now what we will do is, this is where scenes will come in, is we'll throw on a drive pedal. And you've got lots of drive pedals there to choose from. Uh, tube Screamers, TS9, 808, Treble Boost if you want to do the Brian May thing, um, Klon style pedal. We will go with the Griddle Cake drive and see what that gives us. So we've got a drive, but obviously this is the clean channel and we don't want a drive on the clean channel. So we will hit save there with the drive pedal turned off. 
go over to scenes and copy that to scene two. Go to scene two and just rename it crunch. Turn the drive pedal on, hit save, and we've got crunch, go to scene one, clean. Now, as I said earlier, you can program the foot switches so that one foot switch puts you on scene one, one puts you on scene two, another puts you on scene three, or you can program it so that a foot switch turns off the drive or turns on the drive. You've got loads of flexibility with the foot switches. If you want to level out those scenes as well, go to the output, go to the scene levels, and you can change the volumes of each scene. So if you want a little bit of a boost for solos, you can do that here. Now, obviously you may not want to use your Fender amp for crunch style tones. This is where you see these channel settings down here come into play. So each block has four channels. And you could say, we don't want to use the drive pedal, we don't want to use a Fender Twin, we want to use a Marshall style amp. And you can go to channel B of the amp and select something like a classic JCM 800. Let's just, from memory, dial that in a little bit. Hit save. And now you've got, between the two channels, channel A is a Fender Reverb, channel B is a JCM 800. We'll take the mix down a little bit just for this sound a second. Um, now obviously we've got JCM 800 going through a Fender amp, so it's gonna make a sound, it just might not be the sound. <laughs> So obviously it works, but you might want to say, I don't want that, I want a 4x12. Uh, let's go up here and go 4x12. And again, we've got loads and loads of 4x12s to choose from. So you can search other ways as well, so if we go basket weave, um, we should have some there, and we can pick a Marshall basket weave style cab. Let's go for that one. And then we've got... Classic Marshall overdriven sound. Um, so that is nice and easy. If we hit save there, then if we go, as I say, scene one. Fender style clean. Scene two. Marshall style overdrive. And then this is where you can hear the big volume difference. Come into your output block and just change the volumes a little bit. we're now matched much, much more nicely. So there we go. Obviously, there is a world of things that you can do. You can see all of the things that you can add to this sound, but for a simple preset, clean and crunch, two different amp tones, it's as easy as that to quickly throw something together in a pinch. If you're gonna do a gig and you just need clean and overdrive, it's literally as simple as that. With that said, if there's anything that you guys would like to see me cover, anything that you would like to know if the Fractal can do, or if you just, if you want to see someone's amp tone and you want to see me dial it in and see if I can make that amp tone in the Fractal, then let me know and I will try and make that video for you. Um, I love the Fractal stuff. I'm going absolutely nowhere away from it. I've had valve amps, I've tried other units, and Fractal is for me, so that is the purpose of these videos. Let me know if you've got any questions, I will do my best to answer it. As always, you can hit me up at dan at guitargiveaway.co.uk if you'd rather not do it in the comments because you, there's no such thing as a silly question. 
I've made loads of mistakes when I was learning this. So if you don't want to see people, if you don't want people to see you ask a question, you want to ask me privately, just drop me an email and I'll do my best to answer. Other than that, obviously hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, help us grow, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.